Well, I've got uh, the strings on and I've got everything tuned up and uh, I've worked the Bixby back and forth uh, to make sure that my brake angle, which is the way that the strings go from the Bixby over the bridge, make it sure that it's enough to hold the bridge down properly and transfer the string vibration into the body and it looks like it's fine. Before it used to go under the bar, uh, the roller bar at the front of the vibrato and or the um, Bigsby and the brake angle was just a little bit too much and it was the strings were actually uh, binding on the back of the of the uh, binding on the back of the uh, uh, of the bridge. So now you can see I've got oh I'd say about a quarter inch between the strings and both of the pickups, and uh, I more likely have about an eighth of an inch uh, at the twelfth fret. Uh, between the strings and, and the uh, frets and this is just an approximate setup to start with so next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to adjust our our neck curvature and our neck relief whatever you want to call it and then we're going to start the uh, process of actually uh, intonating the guitar and then pinning the bridge to the top of the guitar so First thing that we're going to do is we're going to see if our if our bridge is relatively in the right place, and that's a pretty simple procedure. But you can see how I've set the saddles that the low E string or the bass E string is pretty much right at the back of the travel of the bridge, and the the high E string is. Um, uh, is about halfway through the travel and the reason I do this is that I want to try to make the bridge be uh, parallel to the, the pickup covers. It just looks good, uh, looks better, it has no difference in sound or whatever but I, I just kind of like that look so we've got, um, we've got the, the bridge here um, uh, in approximately the right position. We've got the pickups and the strings and everything in approximately the right pick uh, position. So this is just kind of a place to start. So the first part of the process is we're going to try to intonate the try to intonate the, the high E and the low E. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a bit tricky so that you can see, but I'll put this tuner up. And uh, the way that we're going to do this is, first of all, make sure that your guitar is up to pitch. And let's hit the bass E string. And we see it's pretty much up to pitch. And let's do the high E and it's pretty much up to pitch. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the bass side of the bridge. So where the thicker strings are, the bass E. And uh, what we do is first of all pluck it open to make sure that it's pretty much closed. This one could use just a wee little bit. And uh, then let's touch it on the 12th fret. And we see that that's actually pretty good. So we should be getting an E uh, that's not high or sharp at the open position. And at the 12th fret. So that looks like it's pretty good. Now let's go down to the high E and we'll do the same thing. IE looks like it's pretty close to pitch. Okay, then we'll go down to the 12th fret. And it looks like it's a little bit high. 
So what we're going to have to do at this point is we've got two options. One is we can actually bring the saddle back more towards the pickup or we can uh, angle the bridge and like I said before I, I like to have them kind of straight because I think they look look a little bit better. I'm not sure there's any mechanical reason for doing this but let's just uh, take our e-string back again and uh, remember we had our screws on this one towards the pickups now fortunately there the pickups are low enough at this point so that we can get a screwdriver in there and what I do is I usually put heat shrink on my screwdriver so that it doesn't mar either a plastic or a, uh, a chrome or nickel cover uh, and what we want to do is we want to bring this pole piece quite a bit forward now something you got to watch with these old guitars and the, and even the offshore ones is sometimes uh, either the the screws through the saddles are rusted or they're miscut or sometimes they're so soft so you've got to make sure that you don't strip them out and if you're having trouble moving it then what you do is just put a little drop of that sewing machine oil in there let it sit for a bit now I've got this as far forward as I can and I'm going to try to hold this the base side of the the base E hold this side of the of the uh, bridge down and I'm going to try to move this one just a wee little bit okay and that's actually looking better because it's more parallel now I've got to bring this just a wee bit over the pull pieces and again I might have to put a little bit of tape to hold that when we get to the final procedure but okay let's see how we're doing now so we'll recheck E to make sure that that hasn't moved and that looks pretty good. Uh, in terms of the open tuning and then let's go and do the 12th fret thing and see how it does again. Yeah and that looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at the, at the high E string which still looks like it's pretty much in tune. And And for some reason, uh, it's not my uh, tuner is not wanting to register it. So I'm going to go get one of my snark tuners and see if that's any different.